Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Lawfold's um, Lawfold's uh, map. We are. This is episode two. We're still in day one. We're just maybe about a half hour or so since we last were with each other. I did go ahead and finish harvesting um, this field. This is field number 31, which was ready to go. Now we're going to pick up the straw. Um, here and or at least pick up some of it and carry some of it down to the um, cell point. I'm not going to bail it or anything right now because we're really not going to do anything with animals right now. I know that's um, a bit odd for me, but we're not going to be f probably not going to do heavy animal focus on this map. We will have uh, would envision that we would have some animals. Um, possibly some um, cows and some sheep because obviously sheep is the money maker in this uh, in FS 17 uh, so we'll probably do some sheep and maybe some maybe some cows we'll just kind of see how it goes but right now I thought we'd go ahead and pick up um, some if not maybe all of the straw I'll probably not do all of the straw on camera we'll probably pick up one load of it and carry it to the cell point and then uh, maybe by that point in time we can uh, do something else for the remainder of our time together for this episode and um, continue our planning process on how we're going to continue to do things. You may notice our money is just a little bit different. I did go ahead and sell the pickup. I sold the... Um, also sold the... Um, the default or the the header trailer that came with the map because um, well it just doesn't work the in-game one doesn't work very well if you've used it then you've probably seen how the headers get hung up on it and it just is a mess trying to get it to work correctly so uh, I got rid of that and took both of those to the store and actually sold those at the store to get maximum value uh, for it as we will try to do some of the other pieces of equipment that we don't think we're probably going to need. Probably going to go ahead and sell the uh, the slurry um, sprayer just because we're not going to have access to any slurry for a while and um, not much need in keeping that equipment around if we're actually not going to benefit from it. Just wanted to point out something that I, I, I failed to mention in the first episode, and I don't I don't do map tours or anything like that. If you guys want to, you know, there's going to be plenty of map tours on this map. I'm sure it's going to be uh, heavily covered on YouTube just because it's a it's brand new, b it's different, and um, you know it is it. I believe that this is a brand new map. In other words, this is not a um, uh, this is not a recycle or a conversion from 15 I believe that this is um, new new to the community to 17 um, but I do want to point out that you will notice that this is very friendly for uh, course play for auto combine auto tractor even just regular default uh, hired AI that's all very uh, very friendly for those um, for those devices. So I'm trying to figure out our best way to get to the store and I think it's going to be around this way. We'll get in the cab here. I've been to the store once. Uh, actually I've been to the store a couple of times and I've been different directions and to be quite honest I'm still at a bit of a loss on how to get there, what the best way to get there is and um, some of the ways that I have gone, I have gone ahead and opened up gates and stuff. One thing is that there's a lot of gates on this map, and um, you may uh, you may know that um, maybe maybe I'm not a huge fan of of gates. I have not always been in the print. Let me just make sure we're going correctly here. Yeah, I think this will work out. I've not always been in the best practice of closing gates behind me and that sort of stuff, uh, but there are a lot of gates on this map and um, we'll do our best to maybe do proper gate etiquette on the other series. I'm not going to necessarily mess with closing gates um, on the best path to the store and such just because, well, I'm just not that concerned about it. But um, 
but I will, you know, I have sort of gotten in the practice of doing gate management a little bit better in, um, in uh, Coldboro Park Farm, and I will try to do my best, but no guarantees. Let's see, I think we need to take a left here. And traffic is turned on. And we will try our best not to run over anybody or get run over. And of course we are in Scotland so we will do as the Scots do and drive on the left hand side of the road. Or as my good friend Mike Reefy1952 would say, on the right side of the road, the correct side of the road. He and I will always argue on that point but a hey, it's good friendly banter back and forth. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that there is a straw cell point here at the store. If I can just figure out which building it is, I believe that is wool. And this over here is straw. And hopefully they will take our, our loose bulk straw just fine. I didn't necessarily want to go to the trouble of bailing it because, well, we don't have a trailer right now. We don't have a bell trailer. Let's do a better job with this. There we go. And let's see how much they will pay us for our loose straw. Hopefully fairly pretty penny. Oh, uh, 3,328 on straw. Not too bad. I mean, there's probably um, quite a few loads to come off that field. So, um, you know something? I will take, I will take what they will give us because it will all, it'll all come in handy. We are going to stick to our uh, our rules here as far as not I'm not going to cheat any money in if well if I make a mistake if I buy something that is just the wrong thing or whatever then and I'll either sell it and cheat the money back in I think we'll go this way I think this is how we came and um, yeah so we'll do things like that but we'll we'll try to keep to you know good honest good honest um, gameplay here not that there's any dishonesty in any way you do this as I've said before there's no right or wrong way to play uh, a map it's just whatever your preference is but yeah as you can tell that this is a very coarse play uh, AI of just about any sorts a friendly map and if you're you know if you're looking for that kind of um, that kind of gameplay if that's what you like to do let me just pull up the big map here and make sure that we're going to go the right direction here. Um, is this correct? Yep, yeah, it is. Um, then this will be the map for you. Let me get back in the cab where I can drive a little easier. All right. the way we want to go. Gosh, it's always so... I don't think so. I think we... Uh, I think we've screwed up. This is the field that we just plowed just a few minutes ago. I think we wanted to keep going straight on that little road. Ah, oh, the, uh, the challenges of a brand new fresh map, right? Let's 
go ahead and make this be our screenshot, our thumbnail for this video as I do a very poor job of, of driving. I do love the screenshot mode or the, well, actually the HUD hider mode in um, in game extension mod. If you have not uh, heard of that mod, it's probably going to quickly become one of those like course play and auto combine that's going to be a must-have kind of um, kind of mod just because of all the different things that it will do. Uh, one cool thing that I've yet to demonstrate on any of my maps is this farmer's touch. And if we come over here and we look at our growing cornfield here, we'll see a new, well, we should see a, a new HUD come. Why, why isn't it coming up? Uh, maybe it only, okay, maybe it only comes up in fields that are ready to harvest. But over in the right hand, lower right hand corner, you'll see a new little HUD that will open up and it will show you the percent of, of, um, readiness for the crop once it is um, once it has actually reached maturity and that's kind of cool and of course there's some other features you can sort of set working hours uh, for your hired help you can set um, whether you want to pay like an extended overtime rate sort of those sort of things we are going to use hired help on this map um, we're going to, right now, we have uh, two full-time workers that, um, that we employ. And we've got one guy that is, right now, is plowing one of, the, uh, one of the fields that we own that was basically not yet plowed. It didn't have anything planted on it. And then we have another um, hired worker that's doing some other farm maintenance for us and he will help us out from time to time when we need to do other tasks on the farm. So that's kind of how we're going to run things with this map. I will say that I do like the large, the largest, the large-ish type fields. I like the fact that they are course play and um, AI friendly. That is, um, that's nice. I don't go too drastic with course play, although I might, you know, I might, um, obviously now that it's working a lot better, I may start using it more. Uh, obviously Auto Combine is working, or uh, the, ve the vehicle extension mod, uh, as it's correctly uh, titled. But I will probably always call it Auto Combine because, well, and that's just sort of old habits are what do they say? Hard to break, right? Let's get this last little bit here. And we'll drive this and sell it. See if we can remember how to get to the store. It's a left and then a right. Let me just pull up the big map and confirm because um, no, actually, it's a right and then a left. I think it's just a continuation here and then it's a left. Gosh, I'm confusing myself once again. Now oh, this is a different this is a different way, but it'll work. We may have to open up another gate down here. Nope, it's open. Alright, and of course these are fields here that we don't own yet. Big field is planted in sugar beets. That's a huge field for sugar beets. That's much more, uh, much large, too large of a field than 
uh, for my liking. Even 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 with the large equipment that we were using on Goldcrest, and of course I planted much smaller fields for that equipment. But um, yeah, I don't like to spend a whole lot of time harvesting uh, sugar beets or potatoes if I can avoid it. turn our beacons on and try to be try to be legal well as legal as we can remember to be a and m group established 1872 wow they've been around a while There's our little new header trailer there. That works much, much better. And this should give us another 3,000, that's good, another $3,328 there, or um, uh, pounds actually. And back we go. The guys who own these fields, they don't mind us cutting through. I don't really think there's any other... Well, I guess we could take the really long way around. But yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of a trip. We might have to pack a lunch to take that trip around. And there are collisions on the fences and some of these trees. Um, Wheels 247 did a map uh, preview of this map. And if you're interested in seeing all that this map has to offer and you don't want to wait until I can show it to you through just the course of our natural uh, farming and stuff, then check out Wheels 247. He did a, a review of this map and did a really good job uh, doing it, by the way. But um, you will notice that the fences have collisions, the hedges or the, the brush does not, and also some of these trees are not cuttable. So if you're thinking about maybe getting rid of some trees here and there, there some of these are not. However, there I believe there are two forestry areas on this map, and so um, you can certainly uh, take advantage of some forestry if you like that kind of thing. So let's go and let's do something else uh, with the remaining bit of our time here. I think somewhere around here we have a smaller tractor that is connected. It's got the uh, row crop tires on it and it is um, set up to do fertilizing. So we will jump in this little guy here and it's the little Hurleyman and I've never used this tractor before so are we connected? We are not. And we need to grab that front weight. Now I will probably... Oh, and by the way, take a look at how they've got... Uh, they've got the 
powder fertilizer there on that side. They've got seeds on that side stacked in there very nicely. Um, and then liquid fertilizer is right over in there. So that's actually quite cool. And we will come right out here. And we'll just go down here to this end. Let's just test this right quick. Yeah, okay, just wanted to make sure it was still needing to be fertilized so that we could see where we have been. And looks like that is the case. So we will spread a little fertilizer. Our cedar um, is not the type that um, fertilizes and seeds at the same time. So that's why we're going to fertilize first. It is a direct seeder, so we don't have to cultivate this field. Um, but that's why we are applying a dose of powder or granular fertilizer first, and then we'll come in and we'll seed this, uh, we'll determine what we want to seed it with. I haven't decided that yet kind of take a look at what we have in the ground that is semi ready to go versus what we don't have and just kind of go from there and I think I'll just go ahead and do a kind of a headland here and then do my ups and downs so what do you think of this map I'm uh, curious to hear what what you guys are thinking about it? Have you uh, have you taken the opportunity to play it? Um, and if so, what do you think about it? I quite like it. And even though this map is you know sort of based on a real working farm, which I actually like that very much, and I think that's one of the reasons why I have always liked uh, Cold Girl Park Farm is because it is sort of based on a real life working farm. I think that's cool. I, I wish that I wish that there were more of that uh, here in Farm Sim, um, but I think that's a cool element to uh, our virtual farming. I've not taken the time to you know try to look and and see where this place actually is and compare it to Google Maps uh, or Google Earth. I'm sorry. Um, if you have not seen the video. I'm sure you have, because most of you guys that watch my channel also watch my good friend Eustace Farmer. Uh, you know, Eustace did a very good video comparing the real world uh, Coldboro Park Farm to the virtual world of Coldboro Park Farm. And if you're interested in seeing that, check out that video. You will not be disappointed at all. So I'm sure that we could probably look at Google Earth and compare this map to that and see just how things actually all line up. But yeah, I like the fact that it's nice and open, um, that it's uh, course play and um, um, AI vehicle extension, auto combine, auto tractor friendly, and um, that's just pretty darn cool in my opinion. Plus, I like the fact that, uh, unless I'm mistaken, this is uh, this is a brand new map. So this was not a, as I drive somewhat erratic, um, this was not a conversion from you know 13 to 15, 15 to 17. This is a, a brand new from scratch map. I also like the fact that it's not, um, it's not um, built on top of Goldcrest Valley. Um, you know, there's quite a few maps out there, and I, I, I don't mean any disrespect to the map modders who obviously um, are doing something that I have no idea how to do, and taking their time to create maps and everything, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of maps that are just sort of based on the Goldcrest footprint, and, um, you know, that's fine, but I was just, I'm kind of looking at for something a little bit new. You know, I, I like, um, you know, Bullet Bill, and of course we would expect nothing different from him, but he did a very good job 
uh, blending in the um, the outer outer border scenery. And you know, with old streams, it's not as nice. It's not you know when you look to the distance in old streams. And of course, old streams is a fairly small map, um, but it's not it's not quite as nice. The um, and I. Don't really. I, I guess the background um, is what I'm talking about. Just the, sort of the border scenery is not quite as nice as it is, like say here in Coldborough Park Farm, where you know it looks when you're looking off in the distance. There, it just sort of like keeps going and going and going, even though um, the map edge is you know not that far away. Well, actually, it is in our case, uh, looking this direction. But still, you get the point. I think. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. I do that. All right. Well, we are approaching the magic number of 30, which is what we strive to try to keep our videos um, near, under, whatever. So we will just keep on keeping on here and finish this up off camera and most likely finish up the selling of the um, straw over there in the other field. Do that off camera just to get our cash money up a little bit. Not sure what we want to buy. Um, we do need to look at, you know, as we start to think about animals, we need to think about, you know, getting a trailer to haul the animals in. We probably should get a uh, some type of a bell uh, handling trailer. I need to take a look at um, all the other sort of accessory tools that we have. I will probably replace like the bell forks with um, you know my favorite uh, bell fork and things like that, which um, we I will do in time as we need those kind of things. Um, don't really think that I will be in the market or at least in any hurry to upgrade equipment. I think that we kind of got everything that we probably need right now. Uh, once we maybe get started with animals, probably get the butterfly mower. I believe we own the front one, but I'll probably pick up the butterfly one just to make a little bit more um, progress with, uh, with mowing. And um, and probably the land. I mean, fields is probably going to be the thing that we're probably going to be looking at purchasing as we can afford it. Because I think that I think that's going to be kind of the key. Is we are sort of taking advantage of harvesting some fields that are obviously available to harvest at this particular point in the game. This is early spring. Um, so I think we would probably be looking at, at purchasing some additional fields so that we can get a little bit more more seeds in the ground and take advantage of a you know decent uh, decent fall harvest and just see kind of where that takes us right. That is sort of the name of the game. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all the likes and the subscriptions and the comments. And I'm having a great deal of fun with my YouTube channel and my gameplay and sharing this wonderful hobby with all of you. If you want to hang out and, and if you have questions or anything, feel free to, to ask your questions either over at the Three Dudes Gaming Network forums or at PCSG. Both, both communities, I'm... Um, uh, active in, I hang out in the forums, and they're no nonsense communities as well. I mean, you don't, there's no attitudes, there's no, um, if you go over there and you ask a question, you know, no one's going to, no one's going to be rude and say, well, did you search the forums first and all that kind of nonsense. We, we really are a friendly bunch of um, farm sim enthusiasts that love the game just as much as you do, and, um, and so if you have a question, our philosophy is there's no such thing as a stupid question. Ask your question so that we can help you, so that we can help you get more 
uh, from Farm Sim 17, 15, whatever, whatever you might be playing. And of course, uh, many of us are looking forward to cattle and crops, and we'll be uh, sho showcasing that. I'll be showcasing that here on YouTube as soon as the early preview release is available. I think March, April time frame is kind of what we're hearing on that. And so, you know, that's just around the corner. I mean, think about how quick, uh, you know, Christmas and New Year got here. And, of course, now it's uh, it's after New Year's. It's 2017. But I tell you, March and April will be here before you know it. It'll be time to file those taxes and um, pay Uncle Sam, right? Uh, or at least for those of us here in the U.S. Or maybe pay the Queen if you live in the U.K. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And um, we'll be back again with all of our episodes um, in due time and get back to a, a more um, a fluid schedule, more fluid release schedule. But I appreciate you hanging out with me here on YouTube. And I just want to wish you a very good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.